Hello, welcome back. In our last video, we have seen how we are going to read from the Excel file and populate a variable called data. All right. So in this video, we are going to use this technique to extend the program that we have written in, 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 in the previous lectures that instead of calling this find price like this, we will try to read from an Excel file and whatever data we are going to get from that Excel file that means the whatever the destination city we are going to get from the Excel, Excel file we are going to pass that one to this find price so that way basically what we are going to do we can control the things from the Excel file itself like you know if I want to so once I write this program once I write this once I complete this program using uh, like you know, by reading from from the uh, Excel file if I want to change the variable I just need to change the variable here and then I save it and I run the program it will give me the the, the prices all right if tomorrow like you know if for the arrival city I want to change to something else or instead of just five cities right now I'm going to add 50 cities okay so in that case we do not have to change the code however in this demo 2 program we have to change so that is a that is the rationale here that is why I create a new program called web driver demo 3 and in this program uh, my goal is to read from the Excel file and compute the price you know Excel read recall that we have a function and that function is basically reading and reading to this thing so I copied this method and put that method in this w, WD demo 3 and that method is Excel read okay so this method is again static method because I have to class call from the main function main method here so exactly the code remains same I didn't change anything else except that I just need to change the name of the method in the Excel read it was main and now it is Excel read and what I'm going to do I'm going to call this Excel read from this main method so first thing I want to I want to uh, declare a variable that variable is a two dimensional array at this time I do not know what is the size of the array so therefore what I do I just let's do string since I don't know size of the array just get data All right so that array is just like this data and we do not know what is going to be be there and what is the size of that then what we do we call this function called excel read okay so this function is excel read so let's call this function and this function is going to return a two dimensional array Re I want to read from the excel read and then I will assign that whatever the value that came I will assign to this variable called data so after the execution of this step I'm looking like this, something like this this data whatever we have whatever we have declared in this thing is now pointing to this array okay so this is the first row second row third row fourth row fifth row and sixth row and this is the first column and second column okay so essentially we we got the value from this excel set and I put that in a variable Java variable called data now since we have that variable we can do something like this for int say i equal to 0 i less than so I want to iterate this array up to 6 time up to end of this thing and each time when iterating the array I want to get this variable and that is what I want to pass through that I want to pass through that method called find price okay so that is the goal so first for and then how many times I'm how many times I'm going to iterate that is depend on the length of that array okay so that are that length then I'm going to do I plus plus so I will increment I okay so inside this for loop what I'm going to do I'm going to call that function find price okay so this function I need to call remember this find price method is going to take a destination string so what is my destination string the destination string is this one okay so this is the destination string so that means data so to get this thing to get LHR it will be 1 and then 1 because this this is a 0 and this is 1 
Okay, so that means if I give find price data i, so this is the first you know whenever you know whenever we're doing this first element, this is going to be i, then one, sorry, one. Okay, then this find price is going to return me a double. So therefore, I have to declare a variable double price, and I'm going to assign the return of find price to that variable price. All right. So with this, we are almost done. But there is a problem. The problem is the first time when i int i is equal to zero. So what is this pointing? This data is pointing to departure city. Okay. So I, so that means the first time it goes i is equal to zero. So data zero one. So what is the value of data zero one? So data zero is pointing to this departure city and arrival city. So therefore, the data zero and one will pointing to arrival city. So if I give arrive, if I if I send this arrival city as the as the destination string, that means this arrival city is going to go here, and in a in a send key is here in a destination right, it's going to be arrival city. There is no airport code which is called arrival city. So therefore, this is going to fail. And what we supposed to do is that either we eliminate this thing, you know, when we read from the Excel sheet, when we read from the Excel, we should not have put this thing into the data, or else we can read from the second row. How to read from second row? Just do i equal to one instead of zero. Just put it i equal to one. So what does it mean? i is equal to one. The first time it goes, it go to data one one. So what is the data one one? So data one one is LHR. I hope you got the point now. So data one one is LHR. Uh, so and I, I'm passing that one to the find price. So second time this I incremented to two. So then find price will become data I two. The I two will be DFW. Then third time it will be ORD, LAX, and CTG. And the, after that this for loop is going to finish because this condition is no more going to satisfy it. All right, so this is how we'll find the price. See the good thing about this: I don't have to write many times. So here in W demo two, we are we are just doing price one, price two. So in this case, we're going to write price three, price four, price five, and so on. So this is the good thing about that. And, and another important thing is that after I write this program, I just go on and modify this city name something else, and it's going to run with those cities. I don't have to modify the program again. Just modifying the Excel set. I can drive for different sets of data. Okay, so this is what is you learn is data-driven framework. Then just to complete this thing, what I'm going to do? I'm going to print the price and also print the city and this thing. So, so this piece of code essentially is going to do that. So I'm just going to just to say print message as in the price from flight from and data i zero. So data i zero is going to point the origination city. Okay, so I zero is a departure city, which is always SFO in my case. Okay, and then departure city will be LHR, and it will print the price whatever it calculate. Okay, so let's run this program. So what I'm expecting here is they're going to run for five times because we have five cities. Okay, so five combinations of it is going to run. So I'm expecting this to going to run for five cities and going to give me the prices for each of this route. So let's run this program. So run as Java program. So I want to run this web driver demo three, right? So okay. So here is going to start. Here is started right now. So it's going to do the flights and then do SFO LHR. So because that is the first. So SFO LHR was our first combination. So that's what is running right now. So it found a number and what is that? so, and then. Then it is doing for the second time. Second data set is from SFO to DFW. So I was going to compute that, and then so let's see our so the first time it's done. So therefore it is giving me the price from SFO to LHR. So now it is giving me price from SFO to DFW. Okay. So this is all these things now happening automatically. You are not going there driving this browser, driving this Orbis.com yourself, but your client backed by selenium web driver is doing all this thing for you so at the end of this thing we're going to going to have two more two more this flight two more prices so we are total going to have five prices 
and from there we will we'll determine what is the lowest price okay so all this is done now so it looks like you know here are the flights that we got for five uh, different uh, cities so 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 one one more thing that you can do you can also change a little bit so instead of find price string destination let's say also you accept string let's say departure okay and then in the find find price we call the function data i zero so this is data i zero is going to so basically what i'm doing now i'm passing two parameters i'm capturing a departure and what i'm going to do i'm going to change this instead of sfo here which is which hard coded before i just give dep in an excel set i will put different you know different kinds of cities different kinds of arrival cities and then this program is going to automatically compute okay similarly you can also instead of hard coding this number you can also put this thing in excel set and then parameterize so so this is the advantages that you are getting by in the in the selenium web driver and environment which was not possible in ide so 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 not possible in ide so in the next lecture we will uh, we'll extend this program so that we will print only one price and that price is the lowest price